rural. And anyway, I hope the mic picks this up. Hey, everybody. Hey, YouTube. Welcome back to The Shimmy Show. This is Shimmy, your host, webmaster, and all that good shit. Um, just to show you people that I'm a real person. Ooh, I'm using my laptop webcam right now, and uh, I just don't really give a fuck. It's late, and I'm going to go to bed soon. I wanted to do a topic about my, uh, my own mother and myself here and self-reflection. I'm doing this thing where I guess people are saying I'm psychoanalyzing them too much lately. If that's even possible. And uh, that's my topic for today. Um, if you guys look at some of my past shows and episodes on The Shimmy Show, the non-adult related ones, the ones where I'm just talking about my own personal life and whatever that like only fucking 10 motherfuckers care about, um, I've been studying NPD, Narcissistic Personality Disorder, myself, family, friends, and everyone around me to just see, like, um, what's making people tick or why are uh, certain events repeating themselves in life and this and that and whatever. So in the spirit of self-reflection, you know, pretty much anybody that contacts me, especially out of the blue or just in all caps, locks, or some shit like that, I'm going to put it under the microscope and be like, huh, what's really going on, right? So, I'm out here right now. I'm still in Thailand right now, just chilling. It's late. I had a shower. I'm going to go to bed. But before I go to bed, i got to get this off my mind. So, fuck it. If you want to watch it, watch it. If not, whatever. This is my show for me, and it helps me figure shit out. So, if you happen to care about NPD and uh, psychoanalyzing people, please continue watching The Jimmy Show. <laughs> But yeah, man. So, uh, so peep this, right? I, I hear back from my mom. I, I have, I would like to think I have a good relationship with my mother, being an only child, uh, and whatnot. It's, uh, yeah, I'm fucked up, and so is much of the rest of the world. But uh, you know, lately, as an adult, nearly forty years old, I often now reflect and see other people's shortcomings. It's like once you're forty years old or close to it, you can look and reflect back at your parents' lives and their decisions and see, hmm, maybe that's why they're in the predicament they're in right now. This goes for mom, dad, aunts, uncles, cousins, extended family, and everyone. Um, if you have anybody... Fucking phone, let me unplug it. Shit, it's making noise. Okay. Yeah, see, I just wanted to charge my phone and I ended up doing a fucking episode. So anyway, um, yeah, um... Don't be afraid, my, my topic, my important message I want to put the topic out to today, don't be afraid to study your parents, your friends, your lovers, your, everyone, you know, nobody should ever reject information from anybody, especially if it's factual, right? So this show is about this, like, scathing email in all caps locks. My mom likes to write in caps locks, like, who the fuck does that? People, narcissists. People who think the world revolves around them will be very demanding and colonial and caps locked. They don't give a fuck who they're typing or talking to. They have no respect for authority or no respect for just, you know, the flow process of if you want, basically, if you want, if you want, if you want to have someone's consideration or have them help you even or answer a question, it's probably recommended that you don't type in caps lock because people are like, that's the equivalent of yelling, right? So. Anything in caps lock is usually right to the trash can, right? So even if it's moms, dads, kids, whatever, I don't care. Trash can, all caps locks. Do not yell at me, please. I'm not your dog. I'm not a pet. I don't respond to that shit. And if anybody out there, lovers, haters, or whoever writes me in caps, I'm not going to read your shit. I might do a show about it and fuck with you because of that. But I'm definitely not going to take you seriously, right? Because who the fuck wants? I don't yell at people. Jesus, fuck. You know, really, <laughs> I can be civil with the most fucked up people on this planet, even the ones who are out to get me. So and so and haters and this and that. Be civil, motherfucker. Shit. <laughs> it doesn't hurt to type in lowercase or to talk with the, like a regular tone voice. You don't see me on this microphone here ranting and raving like a lunatic and screaming to the top of my lungs and fucking waking up everybody in the neighborhood just because I have issues. No, I can be calm about it. Fuck. I'm the fuck down people, right? So, uh, anyway, the, the main topic of this show here, I get this email from my mom, you know, and it just says, like, you know, be grateful we have a family and stop psychoanalyzing everybody and blah, 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 blah. 
under normal circumstances, I think if I came from a healthy family with people that had boundaries and, uh, you know, they were just mentally and physically healthy and, you know what I'm saying? If people are fucked up, they're fucked up for a reason. So I can't take advice or even listen to people who have fucked up lives. Or as a result, my life will mirror theirs. I, I'm smart enough to know this. Like you, you should mirror and copy and emulate successful people versus unsuccessful people, quote unquote losers and people that are always down in the mud and ain't even trying to get up, right? So don't listen to motherfuckers like that, you know, self included. You know, whether it's your own parents, whether they live in your house or whatever, motherfucker that's a lifelong failure is a lifelong failure. I like to fuck with people who have successful everything. You know what I'm saying? Success is contagious and so is failure. So if you're always around motherfuckers that are just on the losing end of shit, well, maybe you should change that. You know what I'm saying? Because if you hang around five losers, you're going to be the sixth one, as many books I read tell me, at least. So stop psychoanalyzing me. So anyway, um, yeah, my mom, as I always joke about on my channel on the Shimmy Show, hashtag black moms or whatever, uh... Long rant or whatever, but just to make this story short and, short and concise for the internet here, it basically said stop psychoanalyzing people and, you know, just be grateful you're alive, thank the Lord, Jesus, and all that shit or whatever. And I disagree. I'm doing this show because I disagree. If I've gone through the process of filling up notepads on motherfuckers and seeing, like, this is why your life is fucked up. You made a series of mistakes here, 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 and you're continuing to do this, 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 and this, and that's why your end result is blah, usually nada or negative. Mm -hmm. So I'm not going to listen to you. I'm sorry. That's just not going to happen. You know, maybe once you get your shit together, I can start taking you a little bit more seriously. But I can't take people seriously that don't have their shit together, let alone you know, their self at least. You know what I'm saying? If a motherfucker is sick, unhealthy, broke, and all this shit all the time, and always down in the dumps, and just like a couple steps away from, you know, just fucking up big time, I can't listen to you motherfuckers, yeah, so I'm saying it's a good thing to psychoanalyze people, I'm actually criticizing my own mother here, my own flesh and blood, who helped give me life in conjunction with my father, I'm criticizing her, because that's not a very good that's not a very good piece of advice to give anybody. I would not give my own kids this advice. I, I take it that seriously to heart. And I take it so seriously that I would fucking not go to bed at fucking 3 a.m. and do a fucking video half naked on my fucking shitty laptop camera to point it out if that important to me. I could not go to sleep without just getting this off my chest here. You know what I'm saying? Do not listen when someone says, stop, I, stop psychoanalyzing me. That means that you you have found chinks in their armor that they are very uncomfortable with. And you are pointing out their flaws and you're making them feel uncomfortable, you know. But in order to have that person even self-reflect or have change, change is painful. So you have to bring some of these things to light. You don't have to be the one to do it for them. But if they're putting it in your face all the time, I don't ever tell a motherfucker what to do, what to think, what to read, what to do, how to act. I don't fucking care. I have enough shit to worry about myself. So when anyone puts their views on me, I'm like, I'm not going to reject it. I'm going to listen. Okay, I'm probably not going to accept it, but I'm at least going to hear them out and give them the benefit of doubt and let them spiel. You have to learn how to listen instead of waiting for your turn to talk. Some people, narcissists, mostly like hashtag black moms or whatever. The world revolves around them. They just want some sort of validation. They want to feel like some motherfucker listens to them and then they matter. Black mom, my own mom, you need a fucking YouTube channel and a following just like this. Push the record button and you can probably have, you know, 10 motherfuckers, some in Greenland, Norway, fucking Australia or something to listen to you talk and might even want to interact with you back. But you got to, you got to, uh, Bit your spiel to people that are receptive versus non-receptive. Many people throughout around the world would love to listen to just people. I like to actually listen to other people, other people's problems and how they solve them on YouTube and stuff like that. It's, it's, it's just some shit that I do. It helps me uh, turn gears in my own head to hear other people put shit in their own words, basically. So, um, yeah, this thing here about um, don't psychoanalyze me. I'm like, no. If someone says that, you absolutely need to psychoanalyze them. Because what do you have to hide? What do you not want? What do you want for me to not discover? If I have flaws, please 
Give them to me. Tell me what the fuck you think is wrong with me. I'm not so sensitive and hypersensitive that I can't self-reflect and say, well, hmm, maybe. Maybe if 330 motherfuckers tell me this, maybe there might be a little bit of truth to it. Know what I'm saying? 300 motherfuckers who don't know each other, that's a major motherfucking indictment <laughs> or whatever, to tell you that you know you have problem A, well, A B, C specifically. You can't ignore that. That means that everyone else, when you walk outside of your fucking house, probably sees this too. And if you just want to be oblivious to this and walk around with blinders on, no wonder you're in the position you are in today. You know, So I accept criticism as a motherfucker that's on the internet and, uh, and the other, if you look at my other channels that actually make money, the adult channels and whatever, uh, motherfuckers are harsh on me. You know what I'm saying? They harshly criticize me. Other dudes, mostly, which is really fucked up. I think they're borderline gay and have their own NPDs and shit like that. But my point is, you can use your haters to, like, sharpen your own sword and learn from them. If someone really hates on you, they're going to try to find something to get under your skin that's really going to be, like, either subtle or blunt. But either one, one way or the other, they're trying to hurt you. And they're only going to be able to hurt you if you have something that you're, insens that you're sensitive about or something that you're, you know, you want to keep under wraps or some shit like that, you know. But if you're like me, if you're butt fucking naked on the Internet, you have nothing to hide. I don't work for anybody. Fuck you people. All of you. All of you. I don't work for you. You don't pay me. You know what I'm saying? I don't give a fuck. You can kill this channel, dislike it, whatever. I'm still going to be in Thailand going to the motherfucking beach. I don't care. So I don't have anybody to answer to. That's that's the key difference, you know. A lot of motherfuckers there uh, have jobs and shit. They can't publicly speak their mind. Entrepreneurs like myself have the freedom to do so. So I'm speaking for people that cannot speak, I suppose. Maybe you're, you know, maybe you're in the house. Maybe, you know, you live with your parents. You have some, I don't know why you do this. Why do you, maybe you have some fucked up job where you have to ask for permission to use the toilet or something. Like, I don't, I just don't get why people do a lot of shit. Work for yourself, people, so you don't have to do this bullshit. And you can speak your mind freely. But since I'm in this position that's rather unique, I'm going to do what I do. I'm going to say what I say. So if somebody says stop psychoanalyzing me, you definitely should start breaking out notepads and logging their behaviors. Not so much what they tell you or what they think or what they believe, because people believe in some far out shit, like some far out shit. You know what I'm saying? Like my mom, black mom, not just talking on her, but people who are like Southern Baptist Christians and shit in general, they believe in people, humans with bird wings coming out of their back called angels. Like, I'm actually, I can't believe sometimes, like, I'm having an actual real world, real life conversation with the motherfucker that believes that people actually have bird wings popping out of their backbones and spines. Like, huh? And, like, bird bones are hollow and they have all types of different cartilage and shit than us. Like, if I'm actually having this real life conversation with a motherfucker that believes in angels and devils... Motherfuckers in red pajamas underneath the ground. I'm like, huh? What? Come to Florida. Get me, let me give you a shovel. And I'm going to have you dig for about 25 motherfucking feet. And I guarantee you, you're going to hit some muddy swamp water. There ain't going to be no motherfucking devil beneath you. You're not going to dig to China. You're going to hit some motherfucking water and probably a sinkhole. and Maybe some gators or something. But there's not going to be no motherfucking devil under the ground. And there's definitely not any humans with bird wings popping out of their back. And living in the clouds and afterlives and I'm like, what? How can a Siri how can an adult with a master's degree believe in such fantasy? Okay, so if we're the if that's just like the template or the starting point of someone's mind we're dealing with here, I can't have any I like I don't I, for one, I can't really believe anything they tell me. And two, that means that tells me that they have yet to uh uh unprogram or unlearn their childhood or adolescent training that they were brought into. I think that a lot of people who go to university have a very hard time unlearning things. You know, that's like that's like one of their major handicaps. I have an easy time learning and unlearning things. Once I find out that something is like invalid, untrue, or just unprovable or unfactual, I'm like, oh, well, everything else you've told me is going to get under the microscope and criticized because, you know, wow, fuck. So that's the basis of the people we're dealing with. We got some far out shit to deal with. But yeah, don't be afraid to psychoanalyze both yourself and people around you. If you don't, you're going to be having a fucked up life, living, surrounding yourself with crazy people, 
doing crazy motherfucking things and saying crazy motherfucking things and typing in caps locks and living in a delusional box that they never leave because that's the only world that they know. And that's a really, really, really sad way to go through your life. You know what I'm saying? We've all got 30,000 days to live, more or less. If you live until age 82 or some shit like that, let's do the math or whatever. So I'm not going to waste the days, hours, and seconds and heartbeats of my life around motherfuckers that think, that think or believe some shit some goddamn preacher or some fucking two, three thousand year old fucking book says. Fuck that shit. We're in the here and now right now, so let's deal with the here and now in reality, right? I'm like in the here and now, like here, now. I'm talk I am talking to my computer screen right now live or recording it or uploading it later or something. But still, that is what it is, man. You know? I might look like a crazy motherfucking East African Negro with his shirt off in the room, and that's what I am. Talking shit to the camera, but at least I accept that's what I am. I accept myself for what it is. <laughs> I know there's nothing else to it. There's nothing else. To it, I can assure you that this is my own biology talking and speaking to you people here. So, don't be afraid to psychoanalyze people that are crazy or who have crazy behaviors. If someone you live with or know or are associated with is exhibiting signs of crazy, illogical behavior that does not make sense on paper. Please do psychoanalyze their behaviors. Not so much what they tell you. It's basically people of this caliber of thinking are just kind of like regurgitating some shit they heard from some other fucking preacher book or some shit like that. They're not very good independent thought formation, thought process kind of people. They're not going to like go write their own books or get fucking, I could talk on this motherfucking thing here for three hours till the battery dies. All original content just off the top of my head, right? Because I'm just figuring shit out like that. Gears are turning, gears are turning, and I don't need anyone else to fuck with me on that level. But yeah, man, that's all that I'm talking about here. Don't be afraid to psychoanalyze people that are fucking nuts. And my personal method of doing it, actually, is just to get a notepad and log motherfuckers' behaviors. You know what I'm saying? What did they do? If you live with them, okay, write it down. 6.30 a.m., they watch the news. They brush their teeth. They did this. They did this. Do this for like a fucking week, and then at the end of the week, Review the fucking information or notes that you have, and anything, even the, especially you're looking for subtle behaviors and quirks that most normal people don't have, if they have any abnormal ritual, routine, or just some behavior you've never seen in anyone else, you need to study that and study why they're doing it. You know what I'm saying? If they wake up and play a specific, if they read a specific Bible verses every day, they're programming their own brain. Why? You know what I'm saying? Why? Why are you reading something you've already read before? Why are you reading something you've got memorized already? Because they're prayers? What are you learning? Nothing? Well, stop fucking... Do some original prayers if you want to do some praying. For fuck's sake. So write your own book. Write your own Bibles and shit. You know, but use your brain. Fuck. God damn. So if you have any other behaviors, or this person has any other behaviors, like say they might sleep with music on or sleep with lights on or sleep with the television on or watch or they watch a specific television show or something's on in the background while, while they're sleeping all the time those are signs those are signs that they're not at peace with themselves and they always have to have some kind of like program run or screensaver running on their brain and that's not healthy and you have to further dig and dig and dig and psychoanalyze to figure out what the fuck's going on in their head because they're not going to do it for themselves but if you really, truly love and care about people, as I do, I want to, you know what I'm saying? If a mother, if my fucking engine breaks down, okay, I can accept it. All right, all right. Commonly with Volkswagens, I'll be like, all right, well, fucking motor took a shit. Not a problem. Get another one. Replace it. Or get another car. Whatever. But when the motherfucking motor takes a shit, best believe. Best believe, my nigga, I'm going to break that motherfucker down and take all the fucking nuts and bolts apart on it since it's broken already in order to determine the cause of its failure. Usually it's some little fucking plastic fucking O-ring or some little 25 cent part or something that caused this catastrophic engine breakdown, right? And I'll say, okay, well, this little fucking thing was poorly engineered, or they could have made that pulley better, or they could have made this out of fucking metal versus plastic, 
You know, they make a lot of plastic ABS, plastic engine parts. Fucking Volkswagen's on some bullshit making plastic intake manifolds and shit like that. Like, you're putting plastic under the hood of a fucking 300 degrees under the fucking hood, and you're going to make some parts out of plastic. Come on. You think they're going to last? Not for 100,000 miles. So, whenever shit's poorly engineered or a part or component is poorly engineered, I want to look and see, like, you know, why? Can I fix this or can this be improved so that the problem doesn't reoccur? Right. So I apply this to my own relationships and people and whatever and say, like, all right, if this particular thing here failed. I can accept that. OK, shit happened. Sure. Whatever. Like Castro says, viscosity, thermal breakdown or something. Shit happens. You know, it's man made machinery. But when it does happen, what can you do to reengineer it stronger? OK, you're not going to know that until you psychoanalyze and break down the engine to the bare nuts and bolts and see what the fuck's going on inside of it. And for someone to tell you, don't break that engine down, don't see what caused that failure, that's just pure ignorance. That's fucking ignorant, okay? I'm curious, motherfucker. When shit breaks, I not only want to know why and how it broke, I want to know how to fix it so the shit doesn't reoccur. And I apply this to my relationships, business, life, and all aspects, and that's just my, maybe that's my OCD or maybe my disorder, but I'm just a fucking engineer like that, you know what I'm saying? I want to re-engineer shit stronger, faster, harder, everything to be better. Otherwise, I'm just going to keep having to buy more substandard shit. I like having durable shit that lasts and performs well. I don't like having bullshit around me. I don't even like buying new shit. For Christ's sakes, I got a fucking three-year-old Blackberry here charging on a fucking bad USB cable with a cracked screen. Why? Because I don't like buying new fucking phones. I hate technology. I hate laptops. I hate, I don't watch TV unless I'm on it. Like, I don't like buying shit. I like experiences, right? So, you know, I like well-engineered shit. I like Levi's jeans that last forever. I've been wearing the same pair of pants for four and five years. Not because I don't want to buy more, well, that too, but because they're durable and they last and they're good. So who doesn't like good shit? Make everything better, you know what I'm saying? So that's all I wanted to get off my chest here, man. You know, motherfuckers say don't psychoanalyze them. That's your cue to psychoanalyze them. Because they're either hiding something, they don't want you to discover something about themselves, or they're past, most likely, and they're very uncomfortable with dealing with it. But uh, they don't have to deal with it. But if you want to know for your own well-being and not fall into the same fucking trap that they fall into, then you want to look and see and reflect and learn from others' mistakes. Learn from the last motherfucker whose engine blew up what happened and why and what how many miles did he got of it before the fucking belt failed or something like that and how can this be adjusted you know what i'm saying shit <sighs> that's all i'm ranting about man i'm ranting about nothing it just maybe it's helping me get it off my chest so i can go to bed i think that's all that i'm doing so this is my way of psychoanalyzing myself and my mother from just a simple email and cap stop psychoanalyzing me <laughs> no not gonna happen I mean, actually, you're more under the microscope now just because you said that shit. You know what I'm saying? That's Why would you want someone to be stupid and ignorant of facts? Of facts. Not opinions, but facts. That's stupid. I'm not going to ignore the truth. I'm not going to ignore facts. I'm not going to ignore shit happening right in front of my eyes, just like the OJJDP, ICAC, and Indian Country, and Dorian Peters, and that saga, and all that rhino bullshit on my other channel stuff. And if you thought I was going to do a video without bringing those niggers up, you're sadly mistaken. They're going to get it for life. They're not going to cross me over like that and fucking run my name through the mud and follow me all around the fucking world and all this bullshit and make me this bad guy that I'm not. Fuck you people. I haven't done anything wrong. So it's like, you guys fucked up. And you're going to get it. The beatings will continue. But for everyone else, the same shit applies. If you fuck with me, family, friends, or other, or whatever, you're going to get it. You're going to get it on here. You might get it offline, but you're definitely going to get it online. And if I got to fight fucking proxy wars 30,000 miles away while I'm in fucking Thailand, Philippines, or fucking Africa, wherever the fuck I want to go to, so be it. The truth will be on the internet, and it's all factual. You know what I'm saying? These are facts. I'm not making any of this shit up, so... Back to my original story now, <laughs> rant aside, but I mean, shit, I talk about what's important to me and I'm important to me. My name is important to me. So do what you're going to do, realistically. 
But yeah, man, uh, psychoanalyze every motherfucker that's like a critic, hater, whatever. And not all haters, their information is not all bad. Look at it from their point of view. Why are they hating on me? Are they insecure about something? Are they about this? Are they actually trying to help me or improve? Because sometimes people do that too, but usually not. Usually it's malintented. But yeah, man. All right. So I'm going to go to bed now. I'm tired of talking. I'm at the 24-minute mark. I'm going to hit stop and upload this whenever. Anyway, you guys have a good night. Thanks for listening. This is Shemmy from The Shemmy Show signing out. I might roast some other motherfuckers tomorrow whenever I feel like it, but uh, for now I'm going to bed. So yeah, psychoanalyze people. It helps. Avoid making the same mistakes as other people. See what traps other people have fallen into. You know what I'm saying? Study other people. Read books. Especially by those who have failed and more so by those who have succeeded. But I mean, um, yeah, man, don't be ignorant. Don't go through life ignorant with blinders on saying, I don't want to know. I don't want to know what's wrong with me. You know, I want to know what's wrong with me and what's wrong with every motherfucker around me. So it can be adjusted. That's lazy if you don't want to fix yourself. It's like you got the check engine light on your car. You don't want to fix it. You want to just put some fucking tape over the light and pretend it ain't happening. Like, that's really what they're doing. They're taking the light bulb out of the check engine light or whatever on the cluster. Don't do that shit. You're only, you're only, you're only tricking yourself. You're not tricking the ECU on the car, okay? The check engine light's on for a reason for you to go get some shit looked at. Scan the code, see what's throwing the fucking codes, and go fix it. If you want your shit to be optimized, or you're going to have bad fuel economy, or the shit's going to break down, or shit needs to get adjusted, okay? And your body and your brain needs to get adjusted. Same thing, same shit. So psychoanalyze. It will probably save your fucking life. If someone's telling you don't psychoanalyze them, do the exact opposite and run them through the motherfucking ringer. Okay, you might have to go to Amazon and buy 10 books tonight just to do this. Join forums, Google, what does it mean when person does or says this? All that shit. Talk to people and listen and learn and your life will grow and flourish and abundant ways, I'm telling you. But if you listen to people who tell you, hey, stop studying me. Don't don't criticize me. I'm your superior. Well, what makes them think that way? What gives them the superiority complex? Why do they think like that? What makes them so entitled? Why are they narcissists? Why? You know what I'm saying? Study that shit. Study it for real. It was important enough for me to get this off my chest to people. I hope I can reach out and uh, help some motherfuckers going through some similar shit. But, um, it's from the heart, man. Fucking for real. You know, your life is valuable enough that you should at least study the motherfuckers around you. You know, if you go and fill out an employment application, they're at least going to ask you your history, 10 year history. Where did you work at? Where did you live at? Why did you leave your last job? All the kind of bullshit, you know, you should do the very minimum for your personal relationships because those are far more important than any fuck ass job you can ever have. You know what I'm saying? So. Run motherfuckers through the ringer. I'd say fucking check their credit. Check their background. Google them. If you have people living in your house, you got a boyfriend, girlfriend, Google the fuck out of them. Find out if they have criminal records. Just everything. Everything related to their name, username, everything. And I encourage y'all to do the same for me. Buy my movies in the process. But like, you know what I'm saying? Find out motherfuckers' history and you can figure out where they're coming from. Why didn't it work out with so-and-so, so-and-so? Why, 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 why? Please do psychoanalyze. And if someone says that if you love me or some shit, you wouldn't psychoanalyze me, that's not true. Fuck them. No, you got to love yourself enough to check them out. Check yourself out first, but check them out. Check their references. Check their paperwork. You know what I'm saying? Why don't they want you to dig? You know what I'm saying? Do you have like aliases and multiple names? You know, are you like multiple people living lives? Are you talking to six other motherfuckers at the same time running six different multi-tier scams? Like, motherfuckers, I've, I've seen some crazy shit. You know, some motherfuckers make it a living, or they make a living off of deceiving people. And I used to be on the receiving end of a lot of that shit. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, I'm definitely, definitely, definitely putting motherfuckers under the microscope. So this is Shemmy from The Shemmy Show signing out. Peace and hair grease. Buy my movies. Want your money. Look people up. Psychoanalyze them. That's my message for today. And I Googled this. I actually Googled, uh, what does it mean when someone says, don't psychoanalyze me? And almost every response, especially on Quora or Quora, the forums or whatever, almost every response said, contrary, don't do it. 
And I fucking disagree. I disagree because if I know for a fact the motherfucker has a disorder or whatever, I know that I'm not clinically trained or I don't have a motherfucking fucking diploma on the wall from some psych institute or some shit like that. Okay? But I, when something's up, I know something's up. So I'm going to continue studying them to the best of my ability. I don't need a fucking piece of paper on the wall to tell me I'm qualified enough to study people who are in my own life who I've known for 20, 30 fucking years or some shit like that. You know what I'm saying? So, mm -hmm. all right, let me get up out of here. You guys have a good night. So I all that good shit. Peace and hair grease. I'm signing out. Psychoanalyze everyone is the word of the fucking day. Look up people, check their paperwork and study them, study their behaviors, log their behaviors on paper, then review them a week or two later and see for yourself on paper what are the facts. Pretend like you're in a fucking courtroom. Don't worry about what they said and this and that and the other. Just watch the video footage. Watch your log. What did they do at that time? Why are they doing that? Why is that a weird behavior? What's the basis of that? What's the root of that behavior? Why do they eat that certain food or why do they do this at that certain time of day every day? What's up with their routine? Why is their car yellow? Why is everything? Why is why, 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 why? And once you fill these things out in your head, you have a lot of answers and a better, bigger picture of uh, what's going on. You know, I'm a fairly simple motherfucker myself, actually. So I like I like to run, read, fuck, swim, and sleep and webmaster. And that's really all there is to me. But mostly I like to run. You know, I'm very simple-minded. Other motherfuckers are, they do what they do. So anyway, I'm signing out. Peace and air grease. I'm sleepy. Bye.